What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and today we're gonna be having a look at this lovely comparison table section right here. You can fully customize it to your likings and also have the possibility to add those icons right here and a bunch of other things and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can get this for your very own Shopify store and also customize it to your liking. So let's get right into it. The first thing I did for that, that was that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. Section store is a component library with over 200 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. And the good thing about it is even after you got the app and got the section inside your store, you can deinstall the app afterwards. So it's not gonna slow your store down. You're just gonna have the code in the backend of your Shopify and that will make it really fast and run smoothly. So that is definitely one really good benefit about it. All right, let's get into details. So the one we are looking for today is the comparison table four. Like I said already, app itself is completely free, but for a few of our premium sections like this one, we do charge $9. It is a one-time fee. That means it will never appear again, no subscription or whatsoever, and you will own it forever. And at the end of the day, you don't have to get an expensive developer to custom code that for you. And you will also have the opportunity and freedom to customize it to your likings. So I think it's a pretty good deal. All right, after successfully getting the section, for your very own store, head back to the My Sections area of the app where you have to add this section to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme, but it does run on every theme. And afterwards, we want to open the theme we just installed it for, also Dawn Life in my case. I already opened it up right here. If you want to start completely from scratch, you just click on Add Section and type in Comparison Table 4, and that is how the first version would look like. I'm just going to show you how I added those icons right here. So if I would want to click on this first item right here, the first thing you would see is that headline. So it says native Shopify page builder, section store page builder. So it is updating live. You saw that one already row heading image. What that is, I'll show you in a second. It's going to be that one. So the picture in front here, so that's the one we used earlier. Instead of yes, we can also put in an icon, which I did in the other one, as you can see right here. And instead of just having no there, we can also put this nice little cross right here, but you can really get creative with this. There's no boundaries to your creativity. And what's also possible is adding another line as well. But yeah, let's not get too much into detail with that. I'm just gonna remove this one and do more changes on the main block itself. On the one I showed you in the beginning of the video. Here we can edit the main headline. So we can have this is section store. Right here we can also change the font, change the heading size. Of course it is fully responsive. As you can see right here that is looking really nice on smartphone as well. We did it mobile first because a lot of the customers will come over the smartphone to your store. And yeah here we can also decide the table width it's going to be a bit more narrow or if we want to give the whole thing a bit more space. And yeah, we can also select which column here is going to be active. We can add up to four columns, but I think two are fine for this case. And if we're going to go down a little bit, we can see right here, second heading, third heading, fourth heading. So if we would activate this, I'll just type something in this. Another one would appear, but we didn't activate this one yet because we just set the number of active columns to two. But if I would put three here, you would see this appears. So yeah, let's get back to two because it's just gonna be a comparison to one other brand. And if I scroll down a little bit, we have a bunch of other customization options, mainly paddings and texts. So all the important ones are in the top, which have a bit more functionality. For example, the row image size, so that gets a bit bigger, but you can pretty much do everything. We can also edit those two buttons right here, add a collection or product or whatever you prefer to that. And the last thing we can do, change the button sizes and all the colors in that block right here. So if I would want to have my section background in gray, I could do that as well. And if I'm not happy with the button background color, I can just switch it to blue. Also set that to blue. Don't want to have the border color in blue and this as well so all that should be fine and on this one 
the border color is also supposed to be blue and the text as well so yeah all that changed we can happily save it up and we'll have a look at it in the live version so let's do that real quick before we can wrap it up let's give that a little reload again and in the bottom of the video you can see it all worked successfully and with that being done i hope you guys found that useful and i'm gonna round it up at this point always feel free to leave a like and a follow and have a good one and peace out